you look like for me like I know that anything um, my sin are always gonna be forgiven right except for I you know I begin betray God I, sorry about the word freaking um, and I you know became sick stamped by Satan but God and Jesus my life and I'd rather be dead. I'd rather have no nothing, no spirit, if I don't have God and Jesus Christ. I have faith in the Lord, in Jesus Christ, that He came down as a man to show us how we should live, how restoration has to happen, right? He even died on the cross. That's His way of saving us by grace, right? To restore us. He, he actually... Um, carried the cross you know wipe out the sins our sins right? restored us into a full new us right so we're fully restored by jesus christ if you believe that he was buried died and rose again not by spirits but wrapped up himself raptured himself us God to heaven if you believe in that right you're saved you're restored right you you no longer have to worry about the sin why because you know you're gonna sin but you're gonna be forgiven but do you want to sin? no you're so ashamed you're no longer that that person that you used to be right deep inside you you don't want to sin and that's a, a true of a fact this is a fact of a fact and i know the um um a christian true christians like me uh will speak mine alike and i know that you understand me it's hard it's just that there's this thing that um grinds you if you do sin so you try but i'm not saying i do not of course i do but the intentional sin, I don't want. I really don't want. And these are not, they're just are minute. And I know, right? Nobody is free from sin. No one is doing the Ten Commandments. So, hence, you cannot enter heaven. So, just by saying that alone, 1 plus 1 plus 2, think about your salvation. Your salvation does not rely on the Ten Commandments. Or you going to the church. Or you being a good person. My daughter once told me, Mom, as long as you do good, you're going to go to heaven. I said, no, you're not going to go to heaven by just doing good. 